Hey, what's up, you guys? Welcome back to Yoshi's Woolly World. We're doing this 6 7. Kamek's last ditch flyby sounds a lot like the last level of Yoshi's Island just before Bowser's castle. Baby Bowser. Yoshi! Oh, wow, listen to that music. There's Raphael the Raven's moon back there, too. I can't believe we've made it this far. I think that I've only been doing this series for maybe three weeks, it feels like. I don't know. I mean, it is an action platformer, and there's not really much length to these games. Especially if you're flying through it all at once. Man, I miss those days. Remember those days where you could just go home, plug in a game, and... You know, after you do your homework, and on weekends, you pretty much beat a game within the first week of having it. Oh well. What can you do? Except try to be a kid forever and screw what the world says about growing up. Kamek? Actually, Kamek seems way easier than the Yoshi's Island level. Yeah, his sprite. Or is it a girl? I can't remember. What is Kamek? Because in Paper Mario, that's a girl, right? I don't know. I'm just gonna say he, because it's easier. He seems a lot easier to dodge in this level than he did in Yoshi's Island, because his sprite was huge in that game. I think he even flew faster. But anyway, I gotta be honest with you. I've been disappointed in every single video I've uploaded of this since World 6. I, like, lost all the excitement and stuff, and so I'm mad at myself. And this may be one of the final videos. Well, I think we're gonna do the final boss and stuff. Because I think it might be a little bit longer of an episode, but still, these levels aren't too long. This is not totally blind either. It kind of is because it's been a while, but I have seen every level in this game, so technically none of this series has been blind. But uh, Baby Bowser's Castle... I do have more of a memory of just because it's one of the, it's the final thing of the game, so it sticks out in your head, even if you've only seen it once from, in my case, Nintendo Capri Sun's playthrough. Oh, man, these platforms are a little nerve-wracking, but this is even more nerve-wracking. Don't screw up, you're screwing up. Don't repeat like you did on that one level. Start over. It's okay. We're not gonna get mad. We're gonna be happy because... This game has been truly outstanding. World 6 has been good too. I just, I, it's my own fault. I've been coming into this not happy due to work or whatever else is on my mind that's taken me out of just playing the game. But I mean, go back to the first world. Pretty much every world, I'm like gushing all over this game, especially World 5. That ice world, like every single video I was happy with except for. There was one state. Oh, the sad dollhouse, that's right. That one kind of took it out of me. Okay. Now, this thing again. Oh, thank you, Kamek. Actually, you're more help than harm, it seems. Dun, 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 dun. It almost sounds like a. Oh. It's a song by Queen, isn't it? What is it I'm thinking of? Why can't I think of this? It's only that one part though that dun 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 dun. Oh man, it's such a popular Queen song too. I don't know, it's completely escaped me, but hey, look what we got out of my way. That was very southern sounding. <laughs> I don't know. What do we get this time for the final? Whoa, where are the spots? Uh, biplane Yoshi again, or Sky Pop. Sky Pop, is that, I think that's a reference to, um... Mario Land, right? Because isn't that the name of the plane Mario's in? Like Sky Pop Mario? Maybe it's just a reference to the plane. <laughs> I don't know. Whoa, this is actually pretty cool. I like these little radius type segments. Don't slow down. I don't know where the clocks are. Yeah, speaking of trying to be happier and stuff, 
I'm trying to record this. I've, I've given up on the whole job searching thing this week. I know I'm going to regret it when I return to work, but I'm putting it off and I'm going to play Yoshi and just be happy. Because I know if I try to do this immediately on my first day after my next string of work days, it'll probably be like that one part where I was just freaking out. <laughs> because I hate my job and stuff. But anyway, we're not talking about that. Now this, I do remember there's a really sneaky cloud. There's a sun hiding behind one of those big, thick purple clouds. So I've got to keep my eyes out. There I go. Whoa, don't fall. Okay. There it is. I see it. It's a cloud. Right. Yum. I missed. I'm trying to make out what it is in the background there, and because of that, I didn't pay attention. No, <laughs> this. I do remember this from NCS's playthrough. Just how wide this thing is. I don't know. You should go watch. I'm not even going to try to imitate what he did here. He does it in his Contra playthrough thing, too. The Contra in One Life playthrough. <laughs> no, the Tim cracks me up sometimes. A lot of the time, actually. I think he's probably one of the... What is over there? Ugh, okay. Ah, well, okay, I see now Kamek's getting a little trickier just because of the how they place these items. I don't care about full health, though, although I probably should because don't I still have to go back and 100% all these things? I could do that on my own time, though. Unless it somehow just beat all the special stages, but... Uh, okay, this looks like it's going to be tricky. We know those things are a timed thing. That last gem thing was insane, so I gotta really set this up. Let's let Kamek go by. Alright, I gotta move. Oh, hold on. Uh, he's coming back! Don't forget, you can throw stuff! Yes, oh, thank God that got all four of those. Never underestimate the thickness of my balls. Can pick up more than one row of gems. That is something. Don't. Stupid platform, stop spinning around. There we go. Hey! Did we get all the suns too? I don't remember. Was that the last one? We got all the stamps, all the yarns. We might have gotten the last sun too. Oh, here we go. I remember this from Yoshi's Island. There was a stage that was like all those guys. I'll beat you, I'll beat you, I'll do. Do, 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 do. All right. I think we 100%ed that aside from health. Bonus game. I've been cutting those out because they've been just repeats. So. What Yoshi do we get? Kamek Yoshi, right? Yep, that looks like Kamek. Show sure enough. Now what? A pipe! A smack it down from the heavens. Alright, I... Mm, sure. We gotta play as all the Yoshis, even though I already haven't, because I was Falco Yoshi for so long. I kinda... King Bowser's castle? I thought it was Baby Bowser. Oh, well, that's right, because in Yoshi's Island, the Mario brothers were babies. So, Bowser's a baby, too. Interesting. Alright, Kamek Yoshi. I don't know if you're technically the Yoshi I want for the grand finale. Hmm, tempting, but it would not be Yoshi if we didn't sniff out with our bulbous nose every little nook. Hidden Cloud? Oh, it would have popped up, though. I have the badge. Oh, that's cool. Huh. 
Huh, it won't let me steer in the air. Oh, wow, listen to that, those drums, dude. Man, there's nothing like the music and the atmosphere of a, like the final approach to it. Oh, this is so freaking cool. I love final castles and stuff. Now I'm excited. Oh, the marching music went away. Oh, that's because we're getting into the belly of the beast. What's happening? Oh. That is so freaking cool, dude. A baby Bowser back there. I do remember this. This is this is a really awesome castle concept. Notice the colors of these Bowser statues. I do have a white ball, I wonder. But yeah, you can guess. You have to throw the appropriate yarn ball on the head of those statues to fill them out. If you throw any other color but the one it's calling for, it just resets to how it looks now. That worked! Wow, I didn't know you could cheat that one. Anyway, the main concept is each room of this castle is color-coded. See how it's all black Shy Guys? The only color ball you can get is black, but there's one room on all four corners of this 2D uh, stage where one of the appropriate yarn colors that you need for those statues is hidden in the mess of enemies and puzzles of that particular chamber. And they also, they're not only color-coded, but they have a, a suit associated with them, like hearts, diamonds, Actually, I don't know if it's clubs and spades. Maybe. Oh, get out of here! That guy's mouth, man. Ooh. Look out, eyebrows. There's no... There are... Get up there, Yosh! Okay. I think that might have already screwed 100%. Uh, well, it depends on how many of those heart clouds there are. Again, this is blind. Well, no, I mean, it's not blind, but it's not like I remember every last detail. This guy was fast. He's quick. Be careful. Use bombs wisely. Hey, I thought that made him crumble. Get over here. I said get over here. There we go. Three hits. But there you go. See the red guy in the middle. We need to save on to these red balls. For, actually, you know what? I think we could go deposit it right now and not have to worry. Dude, I'm really playing clumsily. That's not a word. Heart stars, horseshoes, clovers, and balloons. Pots of gold and rainbows. And the red balloon. Okay, so hit the checkpoint. We pretty much got the left side, but let's continue onward anyway. I love this music, man. Seriously, I think music composers of, well, really anything, but video games being the thing. Yeah, look at that in the, that big spade, or I mean diamond. That just foreground clue of this is where you get the diamond, because somewhere in here there's a white shy guy if I didn't bring my white balls from the outside. Right, stop with the ball jokes. Boom, 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 do, 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 do. I love that Raphael the Raven Moon. I haven't seen any of him in this game though, that's interesting. Here are the white guys. Don't need them though. Is there anything else? Yes, there is. Good thing I decided to hover on down to Quaker Town. I don't know, that was like some ad that used to play, I remember in road trips. Jeez, man. Enemy group behind us. Man, they're fast. All right, enough with the Falco references. Is there anything to... Actually, I do remember. I do remember this. It's all coming back to me now. Yeah. Okay, so do we go left or do we go right? Just retrace my steps. Why not? 
But to finish my thought, as this violin... Um... Boom. Boom. Don't suck like you just did. Let's go to the right this time. Don't hit the checkpoint. We're not ready yet. I don't know if I'm going to cut any of that out because I died, but... To go back to my music composer thing... As this big ball swings like a pendulum. Is it pendulum or pendulum? I remember one time, uh, I'm, I'm already losing track of my music composer story again, but I gotta say this one now. There's a game called Catchphrase. It's probably one of the most fun games you could play in like a family game night thing, especially if you start drinking and everybody's getting a little crazy and silly. Drunk, as they would say. But yeah, I love that game. I'm we used to do family game nights back in the days when, like, my mom's family all liked each other and got together and wasn't all distant like we are these days, but uh, everything is flashing! Okay, what do I want to do for- anyway, dude, finish your story! Mario 64 was new one time, and we got together for family game night and we played catchphrase, and one of the clues, like, the point of catchphrase, if you never- you hold this little disc, and there's a little screen that gives you a word, and you're supposed to describe the word without saying it, or saying, like, it rhymes with, or anything like that, and you're supposed to get everybody on your team to guess the word, and the whole time there's this timer beeping faster and faster, and it, eventually it buzzes, and if you're holding the disc, when it buzzes, the other team gets a point. So it gets real intense, because that faster beeping gets you all, like, messed up, you know? <laughs> Anxiety rush. <laughs> Anyway, I got Pendulum. It was the word. And remember in the clock level of Mario 64, one of the names, the hints of the star is the pit and the pendulum. And it's because the star is like over this giant death pit right by the, at the very top of the clock near the pendulums. And I remember I was just saying to my family, like my cousins and stuff, I was like, the pit and the, come on, why don't you get it? And then like the buzzer went off after like doing that for what felt like an eternity. And they were like, what was it? And I was like, pendulum. And they were like, what? What does the pit have? Like they were saying like rational stuff like apple, you know, things that have pits. And then my one cousin was like, we don't all play Mario 64. <laughs> when I told him that that's what it, I remember it from. Because I was too stupid. I was like six years old. I don't know. I wasn't six. I was older than that. I don't know. I guess I didn't know that a pendulum was associated with a clock. Well, I did, but I just felt like Mario 64 was a better clue because I'm retarded. Don't say retarded. That's offensive. There's the green shy guy. What are they holding bombs for, though? I don't remember that. Look at the club, dude. I like clubs. I want to get a tattoo of a club. Not really, though. What's up here? Look at this! Suspicious Nook, Bowser's bedroom? Nah, I was kind of hoping for like a little hidden secret room. I like when games do that. You know, it's just like a room full of coins laid out a specific way. Or like, the, in Kirby, the HAL rooms. There's those little bonus rooms that are just like a nod to the developers and stuff. Or a nod to the fans. Maybe you gotta kill all these guys, but I should probably carefully not kill the green guy. The music composer story. I was gonna say, out of everybody that is involved in the development of a game, I still respect most of all the music composers. I shouldn't say that. I respect everybody, but I just have such an appreciation for music. Uh -huh. I'm missing a middle yarn. What? So it's probably in the middle because this is designed to have four corners, four colors. So is it here? I already fell down the middle. Maybe it was down one of these other paths. I don't know. I didn't see it. Hmm. Well, hold on. Before we get carried away, we've got all we need to go for the final thing. This song is so good. It almost reminds me of the Depot from GoldenEye.
I need to find that yarn though. That's so cool, man. Animatronic baby Bowser. A door. Now we checkpoint. Where'd the music go? This is so weird. It's quiet. Too quiet. Oh man, Yoshi is grunting. I think they got away with that in Yoshi Switch. Where is this thing? Yeah, what do you know about that? Triple kill. Yoshtality. That was so stupid. Don't ever say something like that again. Yomp. It's so quiet, man. And this is not an anechoic chamber. Sure enough. Why didn't I think of that? All right, let's do it. And there's the final stamp. Stampage. Stampage. Boom, 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 boom. All right, let's get the mu music. There's bound to be music here. Chomp. Uh -huh. Oh, man, this is familiar. I loved this room in Yoshi's Island. I don't know. I've refought that baby Bowser fight so many times as a kid. I loved it. I don't know. It was just something about the animations and the sounds of the ground pounding between you and baby Bowser. It made me excited, so. Well, yeah, no, I have a huge appreciation for music. Developed later in life, I guess. No, I think I've always had it, and I just... It's one of those things when a song's playing that you don't like, or somebody else is, like, blasting their music that you don't want to hear because you want to hear your music. Ick. Dang it, really? Oh, I gotta do all that again? Alright, I think this is about where I died. I can't believe I died. Dude, and you jump right into the stupid thing that's moving like two miles an hour. Anyway, what was I saying before I died? Music. Yeah, you get mad when a song that you're not really wanting to hear is playing, but when it's when it's your jam, you be dancing. <laughs> I don't know, man. My health is in dire need of... Well, I don't think we did it. Unless there's another hidden cloud, but I don't even think that'll be enough for full health. I took too many hits. I've taken a few hits, but I'm okay. Hey, see if I help you again. The hatches are open. All right, stop Star Foxing. I want a Star Fox RPG. Yeah, Star Fox racing game, Star Fox RPG, everything Star Fox, I mean. And Yoshi, too. Life is good with Nintendo. Where's Kamet? Why isn't he home? <laughs> he talks like a baby. Because he is a baby. Here I am, here I am. Yo, wait. Why so wait? What have you been doing? Hunting rabbits? <laughs> My castle? Kamek times two? Allow me to assist. Oh, you get out of here, Kamek. This ain't your fight. Alright, what tricks do you... No, it's not that easy. Okay, predictable so far. I mean, the whole thing's been predictable, really. Yep, oh, here we go. It's like a mix of Mario World stuff from Bowser. I like the music, though, as always. Thank you for shopping at Walmart. No, don't say stupid crap like that. Stupid self-checkouts. Ah, cool use of the background. I like it. It's interesting to see these strategies in game development as technology increases. Or progresses, rather. Like, this background stuff would have been mind-blowing back in the early 90s. I mean, the Super F FX chip was pretty mind-blowing. The whole concept of 3D, dude, that was such an insane jump. I don't even think that'll ever be replicated, you're in... I couldn't get away in time. I already screwed up, and then there was no escape. It's 
kind of similar to the Yoshi Island fight. Just, he's got way more attacks. That's the move that he did repe bleh, repeatedly. Wow, that was extremely simple. And I still managed to fumble it up. How could you do such a thing? He was throwing a temper tantrum. Oh, here we go. Do we get that amazing music again? What's going on here? Oh, he's getting big. Are we going to do some of that throwing the eggs into the background? Man, that was such a huge moment back then with that music. It like kicks in at the perfect time. What the heck is that? It's a butt. No, it's baby Bowser trying to break out. Don't be pointing at me. You've made me angry. Oh, okay. It's kind of similar. It is kind of throwing into the background. It's just into the central chamber, but now this isn't even novel. This is like Mario Galaxy stuff. Don't be pointing. Walk out. Okay, hold on. We gotta... I see what we gotta do. Gobble up the balls. Ooh, Ooh that was close. I like your bracelets, man. Oh, wait, what's going on here? You got a very limited range of throwing those eggs, it seemed. Okay, you knock out, I do remember this, you knock away the yarns, which is kind of unfortunate because I kind of want to whack them in the nose, you know, whop. In the neck. Stop pointing. Do, 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 do. Good music, not as good as the Super Nintendo final boss. What are you doing? Oh, you're restocking the yarn. Thank you. Man, he's almost dead already. This is ridiculously easy in a sense. Now what are you doing? Why are they all gray? Ah, no, get up there! Get... Really? I got... I died on the final boss, dude. All right, man. I can't believe that happened, but we're doing this again. Man, I fumbled this up so many times. What is that? A death counter for this stage alone has been like three or four. Have to refight Baby Bowser, small size too. Figure I'll probably cut that out though. Cause... That was so stupid. Like I realized as it crushed the first tile that that's what those balls were doing and then I was stuck and then another one pushed me in the hole. That's how they get you. Good move, baby Bowser. It's nice to see you win one for once. I'm all for the bad guys winning in video games. In real life, not really. And how bad is Bowser anyway? Yeah, hiding this thing until it's safe. Nice strategy, Yosh. Alright, let's do it. Oh yeah. Oh, I almost got a triple hit in there. Oh, he flipped the thing. I was trying to yomp it up. This is ridiculously easy. I think that was one of the chief complaints of this game, is just all the boss fights were too easy. But, I mean, it is Yoshi. I don't know if that's a viable excuse, though, because Yoshi's Island was kind of brutal in spots. One more hit to go. It is a shame that there's no phase where you whack him in the nose. That's it, we did it. That's it, right? I don't remember there being another thing. The yarn unravels from Baby Bowser and scatters all around. Shh. 
Suddenly, it comes together and it's a bunch of Yoshis back. It's the original team. Original gangsters. That was so stupid. I'll say stuff like that. Oh, I got black Yoshi in his white shoes. How dare you do this to young master? You will pay. <laughs> oh man, they're so happy. Reunited, the Yoshis return to their island once more happy and cozy. Hopefully baby Bowser will take some time to think about what he's done. Ah, Poochie, what is he doing on the moon? Staff credits. Good feel. Oh man, and this was an absolute good feel of a game. And it's not over. There's still another special stage. And then there's the ultimate special stage. I believe there's also a boss rush mode in the form of a tent. Kind of like the Yoshi hut. What's going on on the moon there? Ron Poochie? How dare you bomb my dog? Get him, Pooch! Get him! He's invincible. the music did it show them composer I was busy watching Bucci gotta keep your there it is music and sound Tomoyo Tomita he's the chief dude that dude is awesome Masaki Asada did the pyramid song and I think a couple others some of the boss music I think and also what's his name Totaka did the very I think it's the title screen or the main theme or something like that Yeah, there it is. Main theme, music, and arrangement. Kazumi Totaka. I probably butchered. I don't know how to pronounce Japanese stuff. I wish I learned, though. There was a point where I kind of looked into it and started to get into it, but just kind of stopped. Leslie Swan. Her name's been in everything. Same with Nate and Tim O'Leary, Scott Ritchie. Where's Bill Trennan? He got promoted or something, didn't he? But yeah, I remember the, all their names have been in like every single game of my childhood. And I hope they continue to be. I don't know how old any, like Bill and Nate still seem young. I know Bill's a little older. I don't know how old Nate is, but every time he appears in like the treehouse stuff at E3 or whatever, he seems super young, like in his thirties or something. Shinya Takahashi, Mr. Wave Race himself. Bring it back, please. And there's Satoru Iwata. What an outstanding game, man. I loved every second of it. Easily one of the Wii U's best things. The end. But not really. Hold on, is there more? You always gotta wait. Sometimes they do a hidden thing. I guess not. Yeah, I took a beating. Thanks for playing. Oh man, what an awesome picture. That's so cool. You unlocked a new BGM medley. Wow, I haven't seen that acronym thing yet. You knitted a yarn Yoshi back together. Yeah. A new course. Oh yeah, the special stage of World 6. The boss tent is now open. All right, we're finally back in. Look at all these original Yoshis. Original Yoshi. <laughs> Gotta be the OG. Hmm, it is sunflower based. Hold on. That means if we do the final special stage, we might unlock this and not have to 100% everything. That would be so much less headache on me. But before we do that, that'll be next time anyway, but I love that orange Yoshi too. Yellow Yoshi has always been adorable. I love yellow Yoshi. Here's the Boston menacing, but let's go see the Bowser Yoshi because I'm pretty sure that's what we got. You get Kamek and then baby Bowser. Oh, and there's the stage. But it wasn't a stage. I don't know. <laughs> I love those shoes, man. I can't get enough. Ah, oh, this game has been so good. Yep, sure enough, there he is. Baby Bowser, Yosh. Alright, so next time we will do 
at least this special stage and maybe the ultimate special stage of them all. See you guys then.